Normandy is filled with old men, Memsahib. But not like the one in the yellow turban. He's like a head of John the Baptist. The Memsahib refers to the storyteller? Are these silent monsters at peace with us? It is but a truce they keep with man. But I, who have seen the tusk stained red with blood, I could tell you a tale of the silent ones. For a few coppers? Hey. Yeah, for a bowl of rice. What would you do with my image, Mem Sahib? I would keep it for a memory of India. Verily, you would have all India in your picture. Nay, you would have the Book of the Jungle to read in my eyes. Beginning, you must think of nothing but silence, a silence so vast that the ear can hear it. Great trees like the pillars of the temple with ferns like green carpets underneath. While above, under the dome of heaven will live the winged ones. The wind moves restlessly whistling across the roof of the world. These are the eaters of grass in a world of torn flesh. Early the little fawns must learn the lesson. Feet that make no noise. Eyes that see in the dark. Ears that hear the leopard leaving his lair. Leopard lives by the law of claw and horn and fang. He will kill for hunger and eat thereof, but he will never kill for killing's sake. A law which all men break, but the jungle folk obey. of the jungle, the tribe of Hathi, the silent ones. They go their way, eaters of grass in a world of carnage. are the true hunters of the jungle. And like huntsmen, they stick to their clan with a strict regard for hunting calls and tribal law. Free companions of the woods, they may fight and quarrel among themselves until the strongest of them wins the leadership of the man. Jungle folks say the wisest among them is the tribe of Blue, the bear. <laughs> he is a teacher of the jungle law. Yet there is one who knows no law. The barrel-bodied mugger, the crocodile. With his chin in the shallows and lust in his cold heart hoping to drag down to the depths all who wander along his riverbank. And in the legends of the jungle, there is a black prince, shrewdest of the lords of claw, horn, and fang, as bold as a buffalo, as reckless as a wounded elephant voice as soft as wild honey dripping from a tree. 
unbridled, unmastered, unafraid. Bagheera, the Black Panther. And now, behold the villain of my tale. The killer, the man-eater. The assassin who first brought murder to the jungle clans. Shere Khan, the tiger. <laughs> said that in his first kill, when he was keen to some poor Abel of the glades, when he ran from the scene of his crime, the trees and creepers whipped him with their branches and striped his yellow hide with the mark of Cain. This evil lord must have his dish lickers, his bullies for attendance. Tabaki the jackal. And the hyena, hungry for the scraps of the murderous master's feast. But my tale is not alone of outcasts and heroes. I will tell you also of the rock snake, Ka, the wise one. The oracle who taught Mother Eve's speech menus for trickery and sin. What is the book of life itself but man's war with nature? The struggle between village and jungle. Under the mantle of wild creepers and great trees, many a ruined city lies forgotten in the pages of time. Yea, where a thousand war chariots proclaim the might of a great king before whom all men bowed their heads. Nothing remains but a trellis for wild figs to sun upon. But what of the great Maharaja, the loser in this battle? He has left many such a palace to his cousins, the monkey folk, the bandalogs, the outcasts of the jungle. First, you must picture me as I was, my lords. Valdeo, the mighty hunter. It was a long time ago, and very far away, on a summer's evening in the Sioni Hills. Ajo! Ajo! Again, some palaver. It's Baldeo, Master. That fool would make speeches the whole day. Come, Durga. Let's listen to him. You cannot build your houses just anywhere. We have to plan out our village. Someday there will be a mighty city here. Yeah. A mighty city with marble houses. The temple shall be there, facing the marketplace. That's where I wanted the bean patch. No, that's for the marketplace, as Boldeo says. And uh, the barber's shop will face the temple. I shall find some place for the bean patches anyway, outside your mighty city. Go, Durga. Take the child and the old man to the cart. Come, Grandfather. Did you hear that? We're going to have a marketplace and a temple and a mighty city. Aye, we'll have all that if we can beat the jungle. But have you in your hundred years seen man win a war with nature? Sit here, Grandfather. There, not too. Oh. Go back to your work. <laughs> Baby? Ah! 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 Look! Our little Matthew, he has wandered away. Oh. 
Oh, don't worry, Miss Sue. The child couldn't go far. I'll look for him right away. Durga, you search in there. Not to! Not to! Let us all go and look for the child. All men, bring your spears. Ali, sing! Abdullah, torches! Follow me. Natu! 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 Poor little baby. Poor little Natu. And that poor mother. Poor mother? Is it every woman who can have a wolf nurse her baby for her? Do you believe that, Subadar? Oh, yes, Mam Sahib. And His Excellency, your father, has many records of wolf children from the Indian hills. It is true. True? In the beginning, was it not written that the she-wolves love the children of man? Were not the wolves the foster parents of many a child in India? Little, naked and bold, the man's cub entered the wolf's cave. Aye. He felt just as much at home with the cubs as at his mother's side. sleep among his brothers of the jungle. They called him Mowgli, the little frog. Father Wolf taught him his business until every rustle in the grass meant just as much to him as to his brothers, the wolf cubs. All the lords of the jungle became his friends. He had only one enemy, Shere Khan, the tiger. Did Mowgli live to hunt Shere Khan? Did he live? Oh, but had I known then what I know now. Twelve years had passed. Shere Khan was on the trail of the wolf boy. Thank you. 
never seen fire before. He's from the jungle. Yes, he's yes. a wild boy. We must be kind to him. Release him. Release him. Are you mad? This is a thing of the jungle. Let me look. Let me look. Look at the scars on his arms and legs. Those points on his bones. He has run on all fours with wolf cubs. Poor child. This boy has been reared in the jungle. He has the evil eye. Oh, yes. I begin to think he has. Moonshine. I think this boy is Masua's little baby, which was stolen that day we built the wall. Could this boy be yours, Masua? No, he's not mine. But he's a handsome boy. Eyes like red fire. Any woman would like to have a son like him. But my natu is soft and plump. Mistress, how could he be plump, running naked in the woods? I warn you all, he has the evil eye. No, Bodeo, he is some poor lost lad, though not my own. But I am a lonely woman, and if you would let me, I will shelter him for some other woman who has lost her son. He is a wolf. Let one in, and all will follow. He will bring down the jungle upon us. Oh. Oh. What the jungle has taken, the jungle has restored, Bodeo. Aye. Take this boy into thy house, my sister. And out of your little hoard of money, forget not to honor me, for I have saved his life on this day. Release him! Wait! Are you going to turn this devil loose before I can protect you? A gun. Bordello. A gun! Bordello. Now we'll release him. Ah! <laughs> no. No. Boy. Boy. Will you come with me? Down upon our heads, even before the temple, we have called the curse of the beast. No more shall we prosper. The wild pig will trample down our vines. The tiger will stalk our streets. We have opened our doors to the devil. Don't look upon evil. Mahara, get home to bed. At least I can keep my own daughter from harm.
Remember the day I gave the first little shoes to my nut? Feet have never worn shoes. No, you are not my son. But you look very much like my son, not to. Not to called me mother. You were like a little frog to them, the beasts of the jungle. <laughs> and so you are Mowgli to me. Come. Come on. For months and months after that night, Mowgli was busy learning the ways, language, and customs of men. Like a little panther. I thought someone had found the hiding place. Hiding place? Mm -hmm. What is this? Money. What is it for? What is money for? To protect us from hunger and cold. It lives in a hole like a cobra? <laughs> no. If we need a bag of rice, I give these to the merchant in the square. He gives us the rice. <laughs> what a fool that merchant must be. <laughs> no. Will the men pack give us anything for this? Yes. Will you give me a, a tooth? Tooth? You have all your teeth? No, a, a sharp tooth. Oh, a knife? Yes, a knife tooth, like a tiger's knife. What need have you for a knife? To sink it in the throat of my enemy. Your enemy? Oh, you talk about Akela, the father wolf, and Rakshaw, the mother wolf, and how much better it is in the jungle with all your friends. Now, who could be your enemy? Shere Khan. A tiger. Tell Boldeo to sell you a knife. And give him the money. I shall have a tooth. I shall have a tooth. I 
father says I mustn't speak to you. What happened to him? My father shot him. We missed you six moons ago. He was Baloo's cousin. He had no man for an enemy. But my father kills every bear he sees. Why? Because he is a great hunter. He kills them even when he's not hungry? Hungry? We don't eat bears. Then why did he bring him here? To show how brave he is. And my father was very brave to kill that tiger. That old tiger. He lived on lizards and rats. He was too old to hunt rabbits. He must have died in his sleep. I see. You could kill the bear and the tiger with one shot. I killed Baloo's cousin? I've gone fishing with him. Fishing with a bear? How can a bear bait a fish hook? He looks in the river, he sees a fish he wants, then, whoop, knocks it out. Didn't I tell you not to speak with this thing? I told Miss Sewer to keep you away from this house. Miss Sewer sent me here to talk to you. She sent me to get a tooth. A tooth? Yes. This is the tooth I want. Put that knife down before I send a shot through you. And then you would put my head on the wall, like the old Khan there. But I would spring as I die and give this tooth back to you. Oh, no. You're not in the jungle, boy. No. No, I'm not in the jungle, Baldio. I'm with the man pack. But I'm not a man. What are you, boy? I was until now a cub. But now I have my tooth. I can run with the jungle as I please. I am a wolf. If you had a knife, would you go back to the jungle? The knife is yours. For two annas. Mr. I give me three. One, two. Three. There. Three is more than two. Yes, more than two. Now get out of my house. See, Shere Khan? It is for you. Deep in your okay. throat. Go back to the jungle? Afraid of the jungle? Why? I'm of the wolf pack. They are my friends. Then why did you buy the knife? For Shere Khan, the tiger. This is for him. He drove me out of the jungle. He went away far off. But he swore he would lay my bones in the river when he returned. Mm. I also made a little promise. I have told the wolves I would kill him. You can speak their tongue? You can speak to animals? Can you talk to Rama, the great herd bull? Rama is a dumb slave. He has been with the man pack so long, he cannot talk to anyone. Can you speak to him? people always say? We, the monkey people, are the greatest folk in all the jungle. We know this is true, because we always say it is true. Mowgli, will you let me hear you talk to the wolves? Yes. Tonight, when the moon rises,
Jungle favor, go with thee. You have been given the favor of the jungle. Now, see, I have a tooth as sharp as a tiger's tooth. He said Shere Khan is far away, but I had better take care and hide when he comes back here. Hati, will you warn me when he comes back to our jungle? Thank you, brothers. Then we shall see whose bones will be laid in the river. Hold on, tight. Makira. <laughs> are sharp and strong, but not as good as mine. Look! Who is man that I should care for his ways? Brown digger, eater of earth? I am Mowgli of the jungle, back in the night. Now that I have my tooth, who shall stay me when I strike? Mowgli, come back! I'm afraid! than your father who killed everything until the jungle killed them. Why did they go away? Why did I go away? Because I was a man cop, afraid of a tiger. And the jungle knew I was afraid and cast me out. This was the king's palace. King? What is a king? Oh, Mowgli, you know so much. And yet you know so little. This was a great walled city. A city with hundreds of elephants. A 
thousands of horses, and thousands and thousands of men, and it all belonged to a great king. And where is this great king now? like the stuff I gave Baleo for my tooth. The stuff that passes from hand to hand. It never grows warmer. Only this is yellow. And that was brown. Let's get back to the light. These pebbles are no good to eat. There is nothing here. Nothing. We'd be a one blood, you and I. She's only a little cup from the man pack. She means thee no harm. Oh, what the, with the knife and the snake's tongue. Mowgli, they call me. I'm of the jungle. The wolves are my people. Father Cobras, who art thou? I am the warden of the king's treasure. The great king built a stone above me that I might teach death to those who come to steal. Three times the stone has been lifted by thieves. Look at thy feet. The thieves are still here. But I am no thief. Indeed. Be still, Mala, be still. Oh, no, boy. Let her run to and fro a while. Let her make some sport. The others did so until I touched them. Then they whimpered a while. Sighed and was still. <laughs> Kill him? Don't be afraid. Look, our father Cobras is so old he has outlived his poison. Kill me, kill me, kill me. I am ashamed. There's been too much talk of killing. Come, Mahala. We'll go now. Keep that silly treasure. I'll take this. I can use it to prod Rama with. Look at the ruby, Mowgli. You could buy hundreds of villages with it. Aye, boy. Thousands of villages. Take it with me. 
But see that it does not kill thee at last. Kill me? This stone? Yea, I have outlived my poison. But that ruby holds more death than all my tribe. It will kill and kill and kill for killing's sake. My strength is dried up, but this stone will do my work. It is dead, it is dead, it is dead. But take the ruby if thou wilt. Nay, Father of Cobras, I believe thee. We shall go as we came. Be wise to take no death with thee. May I take just this one piece, Mowgli? Keep it, if you like. Get up, lazy bones. I dreamed I was a princess in the city of the great Maharaja. Get up. There's no fire in the great. And there is no rice here. But it was not a dream. I saw the great king's city. Get on with you. Enough of this talk. Dream? This is no dream. Maybe I am dreaming. This is pure gold. Who gave this to you, my darling child? The white cobra. Cobra? Yes. I did not want the diamonds. Diamonds? Nor the big ruby. Big ruby? This big. This big. Where? What nonsense is this? What is this room, this ruby? When did you go there? Whose gold is this, Mahala? The great king's gold. In the treasure chamber of the king's palace. I tell you, Father, Mowgli said I might keep just this one. Mowgli? You have been in the jungle. Last night, Mowgli took me there. But, Father, you will not hurt him. I would not harm a hair of his head. You must never let anyone know about this. Not a living soul, do you hear? Yes, Father. Good morning, Baldeo. Good morning. I, I, I can't take you now, Baldeo. It, it'll be at least another hour. No river between us. Oh, 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 oh my, 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 my poor leg. Uh, 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 this lumbago is killing me. Mm, I can't go around with half my beard cut. Oh, this lumbago is terrible. I, 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 I can hardly bend my knee. What makes you tremble like wash upon a lion? Now, you, you keep out of this bull nail. If I cut him, he, he, he doesn't have to pay. You want to cut me? No, no. Now, listen here, Barber. I'm not a man to be shown like a sheep in the midst of a block. Father, I've won. Father, hmm? move your left foot. I said the left foot. Oh, oh, the le, 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 le. left. The, the, his foot. Excuse me, Bulldale. You are standing on my money. Your money? I saw it first. I... It's mine. There's no need to quarrel. 
There's enough for all. Where? Where? There's a lost city. In the jungle. Y you have found a treasure. Where? Shh. Do you want to tell the whole village? Not a word now. My daughter found it with the jungle boy. Your son, Monsieur. Where did he go? Stop him. He has gone after the tiger. Oh, the bragging of a child. Don't be impatient, Bulldale. He'll be back. I suppose the tiger should kill him. Oh, what a tragic calamity. No, no. We must save him. We must bring him back. How kind you all are to comfort me this way. He really is a sweet boy. I knew you would come to love him. Love him? I wish I had a boy like him. Now, don't worry. If he's not back in a short time, I'll track him to the ends of the earth. Come, 
his master car he'd kill you with one blow let us go upstream hold on little brother Shere Khan will not follow me into the river. Since you're a man, use your cunning. And if I made him angry, Ka, will he follow me into the river? If he will not catch you first. <laughs> Shere Khan, did I wake you up? You hunter of worms, you striped cattle thief, don't sneak away. Coward, you mangy yellow dog, come back. You jump? Are you too old? You frog eater? Fish killer? <laughs> Get 
get your hide today. No, no, I won't come down. You come up to me. Get this. And this. Shere Khan, catch me! Tiger is waiting for us in this tall grass. All right. Stay here. the boy and tears the secret from him and, and then says he didn't find him. You're right. We cannot trust him. Uh, you go first and I'll protect your rear. You go first and I'll protect your rear. Go on. By the bull that bought me, I made a promise. A little promise. Only thy coat is lacking before I keep my word. Come, Shere Khan, lend me your coat. You won't need it anymore. You don't need to shoot Baldeo. I have killed him. Look at him. This is the end of a very old war. <laughs> you have killed him. You found him there. I killed him with my tooth. He is mine. Who are you to tell me what is yours? Get up, boy. You took my daughter to the jungle last night. You took her to a lost city. Come on. Take me to the treasure chamber. I will not take you, Baldeo. The lost city is a city of death. The treasure is death. I will never take you there. Come on, jungle brat. Come on, or I'll shoot you. Go ahead and shoot. You scum of a wolf cave. 
I, I hope he didn't shoot the boy. No. No. That's a sign for us. Change back to a man and, and spare my life. Spare my life, Mugly. <laughs> I did not know you were anything more than a herd boy. May I rise up and go away, my lord? Get up. Go, tell Masua that Mowgli has avenged her men. He has killed Shere Khan and will bring home his yellow hide. Maharaj. Look. Great king. Go on. Maharaja. Maharaja. Great king. Tell me the secret, too. Tell me, too. They say there's enough for three. Great king. Great. Three old vultures? Go back to your village. Yes, my lord. <laughs> My, my king. Where, where is the child? Come back to your village! Oh, here, here, you. Did he tell you the secret? Come on, where's the treasure? D don't try to cheat us. The boy told you where to go. Boy, indeed. Didn't I tell you the first time I saw him? He was a witch. I saw him with my own eyes change himself into a black panther. <laughs> Come on, Bulldeo. No tricks now. If you try to cheat us, we'll change you into something worse. But I swear to you. Get on, Bakira. Stop that quarrel. <sighs> the boy turned himself into a black panther before my eyes. He is a witch, I tell you. I must warn the village. Mother, yeah. I still think you're lying. And I'll soon find out. <laughs> So, get up, Blanche, to spill the fire! Remember, he must have a chance to confess. Yes, the three of us will deal with him alone. We'll deal with him, of course.
witch or devil, whatever you are. You heard them. They are ready. One last choice. The secret or the fire. Mario! Mario! Let me talk to him. Let me talk. Good. You talk to him. I will leave you alone. find the treasure. We'll burn him, but not now. The boy will lead us to the lost city first. Not to, my little son. Why won't you tell them the secret? Never will I take them into the jungle. But they will set you free. Free to live with me. Live with you? I, I have a jungle mother, too. And these two things fight together in me, like the snakes fight together in the spring. I was a wolf. The jungle cast me out. I'm a man. The man pack cast me out. But you have killed Shere Khan. You can go back to the jungle. I, you can be lord of the jungle. No, I have nowhere to go. To the red flower, the fire. No. But it does not matter. The jungle will know from Bakira that I have killed Shere Khan. No, the jungle will know from you, Mowgli. See, here is your tooth. Mother. So too dumb to see it? Of course. He'll escape and then we'll follow him to the treasure. That's right. You two go to the edge of the jungle. Wait there. And mark his trail. Go. Your time is up. Who freed him? Get her! No! Wait! Wait! Masuwa is no witch! But Baldeo is a bat! Tie both of them until I return. By this tree. He never suspected we'll let him escape. Oh, don't say that. You see, there is his trail. Listen, brothers, I have planted tracks for them. 
as deep as hell. They will be here soon. I found it! I found it! He found it! Come on! He found it! Wait for me! Wait for me! He found it! Come on! Wait for me, Brazil! Let us go in there! Let us go in! I, I, I found it! I, I claimed right of first choice. That's right! You deserve it! He goes first! I'll help you! Help yourself! I'll help you! Shoot! 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 Don't, don't shoot! Don't shoot! 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 No, no, don't, don't shoot! No. Pull me out! Pull me out! Pull me! Shoot! Pull me up! Pull me up! You missed him.
shall walk upon gold. I shall eat upon gold. I shall use gold for a coverlet. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. It's fine. Give it to me. Are you mad? Try to bash your heads in. Give it to me. I have first choice. No, it's mine. The old cobra was right. First, they go mad. Don't forget what they were to the one. I want that ruby. Let's go. It's mine. Let's you go. miserable barber. It belongs to my robe. It belongs to me. Understand? Oh. It's we mine. We lost our reason. Are we children? Isn't there enough for three, three hundred, three thousand? We'll be the most powerful men in all India. Here, I can buy thousands of rubies like this with my share. <laughs> Bundeo, you are wise and good. You saved my life. You killed the cobra. You are my friend. Then stop <laughs> quarreling. Load yourselves up. We have to get out before nightfall. <laughs> Did I hear what I heard? The panther spoke with the tongue of the boy. Yes. The boy spoke with the tongue of the panther. This place is bewitched. Go, go, go! Oh, no, we came past this tree. 
I tell you it's this way. Come on. Get down now, Harper. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. Here's the big Look. They're heading back to the lost city. Let's go. Now I shall see if Father Cooper spoke the truth. Is dead, these men will die. wanted to look at the road. He, he tried to kill me. I had to do it, Boleo. I had to do it. Naturally. You, you must bear witness. You must bear witness, Boleo. I to kill me, Buldeo. You must bear witness. I had to kill him. I had to kill him, Buldeo.
I hear someone call? <laughs> Kira, my brother, chase him out of the jungle. Send him home. Change it to any beast you will. Wolf, panther, any beast you will. I'm not afraid of you. Change. Change! <laughs> The village of the man pack that cast me out. They are idle, senseless, and cruel. They do not kill the weaker for food, but for sport. When they are full fed, they would throw their own breed into the red plow. This I have seen. It is not well that the man pack should live here anymore. <coughs> <coughs> Kill them? Why? What good are the white bones to me? We shall make the jungle in upon them and give the village back to the wild gold vine. They will burn us both. Why did you fight them, Durga? Why did you defend me? It was I who brought him into the world. He is my son. Aye, mistress. You could have saved yourself, Dirk. No, mistress. If you must leave the world tonight, it is written that I shall go with you. Oh, they always here! Look! Oh, they are... oh, no. <laughs> Where is the pundit? Where is the barber? Dead. Both dead. Killed by the wolf boy. But I know how to deal with him. I'll burn him! Burn him all! I'll burn him!
will take them. But they were frightened, Mowgli. Lead them, Mahala, to the little island in the middle of the stream. Where we saw the elephants, Mowgli? Yes, the fire can't touch you there. Hurry, the wind is shifting. But you, my son, come with us. Not while one little cup is in danger.
at last. I'm of the jungle. Their lair is my lair. Their trail is my trail. Their fight is my fight. <laughs> He's no longer my son. He's a godling of the woods. So I didn't have my revenge after all. I became no Maharaja of a mighty city. Even the little village burned to the ground. In my struggle with the jungle, I was beaten. And then? What happened then? What became of Mowgli and your daughter? And how did you escape from the fire? That, Mim Sahib, is another story. <laughs>